Hello everyone, this is Static and I am Fnatic to bring you guys another Minecraft video. Today we are here uh, back on the mystical server, the best server of all time. And yes, as you see from our time lapse, we have made this cool structure, which I will show you in just a second. I have to pick up this copper first because we can't have it just lying around all over the place. Um, that just doesn't look good. Kind of like the grass. It kind of just drives me crazy. Um, but yes, we can just pick this up. I don't. We also have this random villager over here. He kind of just wandered up the mountain. That's kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, also, why do I have 18 diamonds on me? Let's go put those back into our ender chest. We don't need to accidentally lose those. Um, there you go. Up to 19 diamonds right now crazy but the moment you've been waiting for what is this thing okay so we're gonna start over here um yeah i still have a few more things in here let's just make some ladders because i forgot to put those in there um but yes you gotta open the doors right and then up here there you go i have our ladders back now uh, this is a little base area at the bottom. I have no plans for this, except maybe change the floor. But you go up, and in here, as you can see, there is a lot going on here. Uh, but basically, all this is, and there's a tower up above right here, which I'll show you what's hiding in the top of it, which this took me a long time. Trust me. We have, oh, um, let's see. Come on. Let's see if we can make it this time. Let's go a little slower. There we go. We have a pillager. And I don't know why he is mad at us. That's not good. He can't get out, though. Because um, we're the only things that can bend our knees. Yeah, but I named him Tower Guard so he won't despawn. Because that would be really bad. Um, but yes, it looks so cool. All right. But for now, what is inside this contraption so uh, and it has to do something with all over these spots over here okay so let's <laughs> no more anticipation let's go and see what this is about all right so let's go in and climb up here right and as you see there's a bunch of boats in there and you guys have probably already guessed it, but if not, then it's going to be a giant surprise. Um, let's just check our things first. But, all right, let's go up. So, all you have to do is hop down in this thing and engage your elytra mode, okay? If not, this is going to be really bad. Don't do this without an elytra. But, yeah, we're going to just hop in. And boom, we get shot out without having to use a single firework. And I'm just going to keep going to show you guys how far it can actually go in like a straight line. Um, there you go. It's perfect for getting over to this village, um, which is amazing. But <laughs> yes, great for getting over this village because this is the village that has like mending and breaking and things like that. There you go, mending in this one. Uh, which we actually need because of our shovel right now. It is not doing so well. But yes, let's just put things back there so they can't escape. Or no, well, actually, they can escape. But nothing can get in and zombify them again, which would be a really bad. And yes, you guys can see actually how far we have to fly to get over it back to our base. But we did that without a single rocket which is like crazy amazing and uh, i'm gonna sleep for a second right here hopefully no mob sees me and um yeah we'll see there you go um i guess we can go back in again and this time i actually want to try a few different things um let's see if we can go over to the village there you go fly up ish and whoa that is a far way up okay yes that is i mean i don't know why we would need to go that high into the village but you know it works and again not a single rocket so very cool and uh yeah and now for our next thing 
and it actually required a lot of work because we had no slime and I needed 12 slime blocks and so yeah it took a lot of work to actually make this but we have finally got all of the materials and we can actually start building it which it'll require this like three by three um of redstone which will actually be really cool and um yeah so we actually have to dig this out and i'll show you when i'm finished but first i will show you this crazy slime farm which is working really really well and I guess this is another fun way of getting up to height limit really fast because we're using this flying machine. That's what it is. It's kind of like an elevator to like, you know, see how uh, good it is. And it's finally time to put our button. And now we can actually get back down. But this is really cool because we can see everything that's going on in the mystical server. Which is super cool because everything is basically stationed right here and we can check on our mystical mountains so very exciting and yeah <laughs> all right third thing and i don't know if you guys have got that hint yet but everything in this episode is like super crazy amazing fun as you probably see in the thumbnail <laughs> but yeah this is great. We're going to have another fun game right here. I have already started building it, setting it up with cobblestone. And the next thing we actually need, oh man, giant chest monster, is going to be ice. Which I have a little bit, but definitely nowhere close to a lot of ice. But yes, over here is actually, and that looks really bad, um, we are actually going to be making a mini golf game. So everyone who comes to our place and want to have some fun can actually play some mini golf. And I think that'll actually, that'll be really fun. Um, I've never made one of these. I've only seen them. And I'm very excited to see how it turns out. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to lay out the track. And we can actually see how this is looking. It's not great, especially since we're going to have to tear this down to put ice in. But we're just going to go for it. And here it is, guys. Super cool. We're going to have to place ice under all of this. So we can, might as well just start tearing this out. And I just forgot that I actually need to take a trip to the end to heal my shovel. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to tear all that up. And I'm not using stone or iron or any of those. So why not just heal our shovel? But now that that is done, we can finally get back to the little mini golf course. So I have dug out all the way to the first hole. There's definitely going to be a lot more than that, but we have finally dug out to the first hole. And I'm hoping we are going to have enough ice to actually be able to make it. Although from what I'm seeing, I, it does not look like it, which is not going to be good even in the slightest so um yeah this ain't gonna be good um we have to take out these too we want to make sure the uh, cobblestone is above the packed ice which is why i have to dig it out because i like this height i think <laughs> um so yeah but we're definitely not gonna have enough to even get close to what we need to but I can make a demonstration so you're gonna stand somewhere over this way okay and you're gonna throw it's not gonna be an ender pearl it'll probably be something else but we can throw an item and it'll slide across and I think I might actually need to use blue eyes for this um, yeah, it's not moving very far. We're going to use blue ice, but not today at least. Okay, we can just demonstrate with this. But you'll throw it like this, and it will glide across, and you will see how far you will go. And hopefully we can make it all the way down here. Um, and then 
off the drop off this is the first hole right here and then we'll have more holes after that but yeah that is what i'm gonna start on the golf course today maybe next episode we'll start with a time lapse of more of it and we have popped out of shaders for wow that was weird how they all spawn um but yes as i was saying we have popped out of shaders for a second so we can see the nether better me and Saul have been working on a little something and it is involving the nether and that's also the reason why we have netherite helmet and netherite boots um but yeah i basically guys just like maxed out all my gear and things minus my sword but like everything is like very crazy amazing we even have our shield which looks absolutely insane but now we can actually see it what me and soul cough have made which is down here okay and don't worry i feel like i am a pretty good flyer so let's hopefully not die here it's right under this little ledge right by the lava there's a little entrance and we also have some striders over there that we can actually ride to get over here if you don't want to fly or if you just can't fly then um yeah that's why that's over there but the moment of truth this um, well first of all we have this amazing hallway that comes down and then this amazing run yes me and soul have built this this took us about like two hours <laughs> to make uh, but it did take us a little longer trying to get all the black stone and then of course the red nether brick but it looks absolutely amazing this room looks like crazy we have future plans for this but first we can see what these little rooms are and shout out to soul for making these because I, I had nothing to do with the rooms um, i'll show you what i did um in a little bit but yes soul has made this room for me which looks super cool and we also have this little thing in the back which is like storage um but yeah and then i'm not really supposed to go in here but i'm just gonna show it off uh, it's the same exact thing, just mirrored. Um, so yeah, she did an amazing job. And then the thing that I did, which is this outer piece that took me forever. Yeah. Uh, this 5x5 piston. It's absolutely amazing. I could watch this thing for hours, literally. And you can also see we have some ancient debris in here. Um, which because it's four, we could put it on our pants, but, um, I just, uh, and actually, I'm going to just open this up a little bit, so I can kind of, uh, try to make a background, I'm going to kind of show you what is behind all of this, it took a long time, and the only, I built this, like, I redid the third section of this, like about three times just because I didn't realize that it couldn't have a roof on because that observer was messing things up I'm pretty sure or maybe that one but um yeah so it works without a roof but with a roof it just completely broke um but yeah all of this over here this side we can see and we even have underneath here uh, and this part it took a lot of time but I made it through and it looks absolutely amazing. Now, the thing is, can I get back up <laughs> to here? I gotta not go on the ladder. There you go. And, um, I think I can just try to put this back. Hopefully I can put it back, Hustle. Perfect. And yeah, so we can. Don't worry, we do have plans for back there, but definitely not something we will get into today's video. So yeah, this is absolutely amazing. But all right, on to our next thing. And guys, the next thing that I actually am. Oh, it's raining. The next thing that I am actually going to show you is actually in the end and i am only showing you this now because it is very very hard 
to do this when there's a lot of people online. I already have enough lag as it is. And okay, so I finally made it over here. Let's just let the chunk slow because it does not like us going between dimensions. But over here, shout out to Tetrapin for making this. Um, I really did not help with this. Uh, this was all Tuckerman. But um, yeah, and that's a little scary being in there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, like I said, it's very laggy over at this area, so I'm going to try to be quick with this before there's too many items. So, yeah, but there's no spawning spaces over there, so the Enderman can only spawn over here. And, um, yeah, I can just hit them from here, which is already getting really laggy, and they don't like it. But it's okay. Um, it gives us a lot of XP really fast. I know I really can't demonstrate that at the moment because it's, you know, really laggy. But yeah, thanks to Tugman for making this. This is actually how I made all of my um, gear and things. Like I could put the mending and everything on it. I wonder if water's gonna kill them. Okay, it's so laggy, it's not even put it down. That's probably not the best thing. I just hope I'm not gonna go in lava. Um, but yeah, very bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay, let's probably get out of here before we die and then yeah, I think we'll be good. But yes, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe down below so you don't miss another video. And um, yeah, I will see you again next time.